Squirt. Okay, Dad. I just have one more thing to do. Bye-bye, Winter. <laughs> That's right. Today's the last day of winter. Not a minute too soon. It's been a long one. Uh-huh. But tomorrow's the first day of spring. Yay! Spring, spring, spring! Shh. Settle down, Bounce. Everybody's sleeping. But, Mom, I'm tired of being in the cozy hole. I know, sweetie. Mm. Good night, Bounce. Night, Mom. Good night, Squirt. Night, Mom. <laughs> the best part about tomorrow is that I can go wake up Felix from his long winter nap. Felix is still sleeping? He's been sleeping since fall. Oh, like all frogs, Felix has been hibernating for the winter. Their bodies get cold, so they sleep. And that's what you two buglets need to do right now. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right. But now that it's spring, Felix will wake up. You know, he may not be ready to wake up, sweetie. That's right. Every buggy's body has its own natural clock. Felix's body might be telling him he needs more sleep. There's no way he can sleep for one more day. Spring is here. Oh, by the sound of that wind, doesn't seem like winter's in any hurry to leave Sunny Patch. <gasps> Happy, Happy spring, spring, spring! Happy spring! Don't forget your breakfast. Yeah. Let's go get Felix, Bounce. Bye, Mom. Bye. I d d d don't think Spring knows it's spring yet, Squirt. My and the d d d ten eye are icicles. Spring's gotta be here. Come on. Let's see if we can find any more signs of spring. Do you see spring anywhere? I see snow. Yeah, that'll be gone in no time. And dry grass? That'll turn into soft green grass soon. I see something that I don't know what it is. Over there! Wow. A crocus. That's a spring crocus. I told you spring is here. Yay! All right! <gasps> Over here! Run, run, run! <laughs> yeah. See, Bounce? Another sign of spring. The birds are coming back to nest. There he goes. Come on, let's go wake up Felix. Okie dokie. Where's Felix's bedroom? I'm not sure. Under some rocks or maybe in one of those logs. Nothing here. <gasps> Listen to that. Do you think that could be... Wake up, Felix! Wait, Bounce. We need to make sure it's Felix. Oh. Uh, 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 can you see anything? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, wait. Yes, it's Felix! Yay! Wake him up. Wakey, wakey, groggy, froggy. It's not working. Wake up, Felix! Nuh-uh. Maybe we should just let him sleep, Squirt. He's really fast asleep. But it's spring and the sun is out. That's all he needs, a little sunlight. Let's see, we need something shiny. Ah! Wake up, buddy, the sun's out! He's waking up. <laughs> oh, boy. oh boy, Felix, you're up. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I can't see a thing. It's spring, Felix. Oh, hi, Squirt. It's too bright. I'm too tired. I can't open my eyes. <laughs> Felix! N no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> we have a whole spring, summer, and fall of fun ahead of us. We've got swimming in Taddy Puddle, racing through the meadow, and eating berries. Huh? I don't see any berries. They're, they're not out yet, but, but they will be soon. Doesn't even look like spring. Yeah, well, spring is having a little bit of trouble waking up, too. Oh, it doesn't feel like spring, either. I'm going back to bed where it's warm. Come back later. How can you sleep one more minute? You'll miss all the fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Besides, 
We miss you. <sighs> is it really springtime? Today is the first day of spring. My calendar says so. All right. I'll try to stay awake. I knew you wouldn't want to sleep one more minute. So, what do we do first? A lily pad ride with your friends is a great way to kick off spring. This is fun! Uh-huh. Oh, boy! Oh, my God! Feel it! I'm fine. I'm awake. I'm awake. Boy, am I awake now. The water's cold. It feels more like the first day of winter than the first day of spring. You weren't supposed to go swimming. I didn't mean to. I guess I must have fallen asleep. But I'm awake now. What are we doing next? How about frog tag? Tag, tag, tag! Can't catch me! <laughs> Over here, Felix! Can't tag me! Can't tag me! Can't tag me! Oh, oops. <laughs> Try again! <laughs> oops. Ah! Ow. Felix, huh? pay attention! Sorry, I... Gotcha. Finally! <laughs> Can't get me! It, Squirt. Your calendar says it's time to wake up, but my body's telling me to sleep. That did say everybody has their own body clocks, Squirt. I guess Felix's clock is running a little slow. Why don't we show Felix the crocus? That made me feel springy. Spiderific idea, Bounce. Come on, Felix. We'll show you it's springtime. Let's go that way. Okay. <laughs> It's getting kind of cold, Squirt. It's just that the sun's gone behind the clouds. Looks more like a sky full of gray storm clouds to me. There's the crocus. Let's go. This way, Felix. A little to the right, left. Aw, it's pretty. Really, really. Felix. Huh? Uh-oh. Sorry, I <laughs> Oh. <gasps> the blue jay is back! Bird bait! Felix! Wake Come up! On. The blue jay! Wake up, Felix! The blue jay's gonna eat you if you don't wake up! Push, bounce! Wow, he's still snoring. This froggy needs more sleep, Squirt. You're right, Bounce. He didn't even try to save himself from the Blue Jay. And it looks like a storm is coming. I guess Spring forgot to come to Sunny Patch, Bounce. Yeah. Come on, let's take Felix back to the Taddy Puddle. We'll put him back to bed where he belongs. <laughs> Felix, wake up, buddy. Whoa, it's cold. I'm really sorry, Squirt. I tried to stay awake, I just can't. It's not your fault, Felix. I shouldn't have woken you up in the first place. You're not ready yet. I'll see you when it warms up. I'll miss you. We'll have fun then, I promise. Mm. Night, night, Felix. Night, night, Bounce. Sleep tight. <sighs> Time to get ready for bed, little bugs. Okay, Mom. <sighs> Mom, 
Is spring ever going to come? Of course it is, sweetie. Spring is here. You just can't see it yet. And Felix will wake up soon enough. He's just following his own natural clock, and we have to respect that. But if it's really spring, why isn't it warm and sunny, and why doesn't Felix want to wake up? Sometimes nature's rhythms can be a little unpredictable, sweetheart. Like a snowstorm on the first day of spring? Exactly. Cool! Wake up, everybody! Snow! Oh, dear. Squirt is going to be so disappointed that winter is still here. We're going sledding in the meadow! Snow! 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 You are? You don't mind the snow? Uh-uh. I'm just listening to my natural clock, Mom. Yesterday, my body wanted it to be spring. But today, it's really happy it's still winter. <laughs> my clock's a little tired of winter time. Nature's rhythms can be a little unpredictable, Dad. <laughs> Bumbling bees. I love web weaving day. I'm being the best web tester I can be. Yes, you are, Bounce. You've been a big help, and you too, Pansy. We'll have this web finished in no time, so long as you work hard and be the best you can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, where's my other web tester? Dragons by the ground house. Dragons ho! Yahoo! Captain Wing Flash to the rescue. Well, hello there, Captain Wing Flash. Have you seen my web tester, Dragon? Oh, um, I was testing this web for, for bounciness, Mom. Uh, it looks to me like you were testing it for funness. Dragon, how about getting back to work? Aww. <sighs> What's the matter? Web testing is boring. I want to be the best I can be at something else. Like what? Well, like that. Those bees are having fun. I want to be a bee. Hmm, so you'd like to be a bee. I think that can be arranged. Really? As long as you promise to be the best bee you can be. I promise! Good morning, Beatrice. Good morning. Welcome to our busy hive. It is busy. And I have somebody who'd like to help out. Dragon wants to be a bee for a day. We can always use a good worker. Honey, you can show Dragon what we bees do. That'd be fun. Cool. And of course, you'll be well rewarded for all your hard work. Uh, hard work? Of course. You'll be collecting nectar, dear. And when you're done, you'll get to keep all the honey you make. I'm going to make honey? That's what bees do, silly. Whoa, that's great. First, you're going to need your own honeycomb. This honeycomb will do nicely. It's all yours, Dragon. All right. Thanks, Mom. Now what? You fill your bucket with nectar, then pour it into your honeycomb, and in no time, most of the water will dry from the nectar, and it'll turn to honey. Since you two are all set, I'd better get back to our web weaving. And I've got to get back to the hive. Kids, you know where to find us if you need help. Okie dokie. Bye, sweetie. Have fun. Bye, Mom. Let's get buzzing, dragon. Dragons, ho! I mean, bees away! So, what are we looking for? A big flower patch. Oh, maybe he can help. What was that all about? He said there's a flower patch not very far, that way. He said that? Yeah, with the waggle dance. It's how bees let each other know where to find nectar. The looping and buzzing tells you how far away the nectar is, and the long straight part tells you which direction to go find it. Cool! Check this out. Well, 
<laughs> you just directed me to Stinky the Stink Bug's house. Oh. Come on, let's get buzzing. Wait for me. Here it is, just like he said. Great. Um, so how do we get the nectar? Inside here. Yummy, you try it. I've never had nectar straight from the flower before. Mmm, it is good. <laughs> I told you. Hey, what's that bee doing? Collecting nectar by drinking it. Bees have a special honey tummy to keep it in. I get it. That's why I need a bucket, right? Exactly. That's it. Easy as pie. <laughs> we need more than that, dragon. Let's get buzzing! Bees away! <sighs> that took a while, but my bucket's finally full. Then let's go put it in your honeycomb. I'll race you. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, well, I didn't think this bucket would be so heavy. That's where being a bee is handy. So, how do you bees get the nectar from your honey tummy into the honeycomb? <laughs> we just spit it out. Ugh, glad I have my nectar bucket. <clears throat> Sorta. Uh, 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 uh. It doesn't seem like much, does it? Nope, there's a lot more nectar to collect, so let's get buzzing! Right. Bees away! do we have to collect from? I'll show you. Just this many. Whoa, but that could take all day. Yep, that's why bees are so busy. <sighs> I'll fly ahead and check for flowers with the most nectar. Okay. Oh, my. The bees do look busy, Ted. <laughs> yeah, busy as bees, Ned. <laughs> I gotta sit down. <sighs> oh dear, some buggy looks all pooped out. What's the buzz? I'm trying to be a bee, but it's a lot more work than I thought. Working? Like a bee? Why? You're a dragonfly. That's what you have to do to make honey. You're making honey? Well, it's not easy. I have to collect the nectar from all these flowers. Then I fly it all the way to the old pine tree and pour it into my honeycomb. Your own honeycomb. At the old pine tree, you say? Uh-huh, and it's almost full. You should hmm. see it. Dragon, I found more flowers full of nectar. <sighs> Let's get buzzing. See ya, Ted and Ned. Uh, goodbye. Toodaloo. Feel like a walk to the old pine tree, Nitty? Indeed I do, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take one more step. <laughs> Ned, look. Honey, loads and loads of honey. <sighs> Which smells divine. Good enough tea. I don't suppose Dragon would mind if we just borrowed an itsy bitsy cell or two. Or three, for that matter. <laughs> Pull, Ned! Pull! <laughs> Got it. Let's scurry. <laughs> uh, how do we get down with these? No problem. Leave it to me, Ted. <laughs> Come on. This should be enough. <laughs> what happened? 
I left it to Nilly. Please help us. Okay. <laughs> You're too heavy. I know what to do. Hang on. We're trying. <laughs> Good one, Dragon. What was that? A waggle dance. Now is no time to start dancing. You bound. Miss Spider, there's trouble at the old pine tree. <gasps> I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for saving us. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe we're still in one piece. Well, that's more than we can say for this. <gasps> my honeycomb. Well, you did say we could look at it. Yeah. Hmm. It would be more polite to wait until somebody offers you some. Uh... Oh. We're very sorry, Dragon. Yes, uh, very, very sorry. <laughs> Without a honeycomb, I'm not much of a bee. But you work so hard, Dragon. You even learned the waggle dance to call for help. It sounds like you've been the best bee you can be. Bees work really hard, Mom. And your hard work won't go unrewarded. I, Queen Beatrice, pronounce you, Dragon, an honorary bee. And we'll make sure you get a new comb full of our yummiest honey. Awesome! yee You know, bees always share their honey. Uh, then you won't mind sharing a bit with two poor starving ants? We'll work for <gasps> it. What? All righty then. Honey and Dragon, please show our two newest wannabes <laughs> how it's done. <laughs> uh, Let's get buzzing. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know what I was saying. Yeah, you didn't know what you were saying. It just came out of my mouth. Oh, I you're in big trouble, it, Nettie. Just, I know I am. Uh, yeah, we'll work for it, he says. Watch it. My own brother. Doing your big mandibles. Whoop. Ow. Sorry. Get, get, get up oh, no. oh. <laughs> you're in for it, Magnet. 